Have you ever been surprised at how easy or difficult a reading assignment is for your students? Using the following technique, closed testing, should eliminate most of those surprises and allow you to select material that is challenging but not frustrating for your students. I'm planning on using this text with my students, but before we get started on it, I'm going to give them a closed test to make sure the reading level is right. First, I took my text and found a representative passage of at least 250 words. Next, I typed the selection and deleted every fifth word, leaving a space for the students to fill in. When I give this test to the students, I'll ask them to fill in the blanks. They'll do this individually, of course. There shouldn't be a time limit because this test measures comprehension, not speed. Also, spelling doesn't count here. I just wanted to know if the students understand what they are reading well enough to anticipate what words come next. What's different about these two readings? Fancy. One of those have some blanks on it and the other one uh, are, are kind of uh, paragraphs. Very good. So this one has some blanks, missing words. Okay, so I want you to read this story. Is everyone finished? Yes. yes. Okay, please turn your paper over. So now I'd like you to fill in the blanks. This is the same story with words missing. Try to remember what you read. And don't worry, spelling doesn't count. It's okay if you misspell things. Okay, are you finished? Yes. 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 Great. What did you think? Was it easy or difficult? Difficult. 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 Yeah. yeah. Okay, please give me your papers. Thank you. Okay, my passage has 50 gaps, so each is worth two points. I mark the answers right or wrong. Here's one of my students' papers. Amir missed 16 words, so he got a score of 68. That's actually quite good. Anything over 60% indicates that the text could be read independently. Under 40% shows a frustration level. I'd like most of my students to be between 40 and 60% on this pre-reading task. That's the best instructional level. I can also analyze these responses to see if a particular error exists. For example, Amir used an adjective form in places where an adverb form was needed. That tells me he probably needs some more work on adverbs. Another application of closed tests is with listening materials. You'll probably find that your students' comprehension with listening exercises is not the same as their reading comprehension. So if you're going to be working with a long listening source, like a movie or a series of tapes, you could perform a closed test like this one to find that ideal instructional level.